ladies and gentlemen. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank our media friends, esteemed guests, and our superstar, Mr. Mahesh Babu, for coming over here. And uh, we welcome Mr. Mahesh Babu, our superstar, for the not only just the Indian, for the global audience as our, as our brand ambassador. And before uh, I invite Mr. Mahesh Babu onto the stage, I would like to take you through the Yup TV background and where we stand. I think most of our Hyderabad media friends have been supportive in the past. And I would like to just give a quick overview of where we stand today as a Yup TV. So today, in terms of the Yup TV, we were one of the pioneers. We were one of the first companies globally also to think about the way TV should be delivered over internet. And you know, when I was traveling all over the world, all the Indian audiences never used to get content. And with that vision, we started this company to deliver TV to you know, expats living in Trinidad and Tobago, to living in Indians. And with that vision today, we are one of the world's largest South Asian, for South Asian content, we're one of the large, world's largest internet TV provider. But more than also, from technology point of view, we are one of the largest company to deliver more than 300 plus channels globally over internet on any internet enabled device. It's not just PC or mobile. We are an app sitting on Samsung TV, Apple TV, Sony, LG. So even, um, and the great part of it is 95% of the employees comes from the Hyderabad. So, so G as per red herring. And uh, primarily, the great news is I always had this vision of make in India and made in India. And we have 95% of the employees coming out of Hyderabad. YepTV is no longer a back-end company. It's a front-end company, a consumer brand, and a technology space. We made to the top 100 global companies. Globally, we have all the networks for South Asian, Z, Starplus, Colors. We also have South Asian from Bangladeshi, Sri Lankan, Nepal. So in terms of the channels, globally, we deliver more than 250 channels. And the best part is, when you miss the program, you go back and watch for the last seven days. Not just on your TV, but any internet-enabled device anywhere. It's not like the, the, the older uh, cable and broadcast, the way the technology evolved, is one to many. So that's where the entire linear TV, live TV, has developed based on people watching at one time. So 9 PM, people used to sit 9 PM. So in Hyderabad, you know, we have four general entertainment channels in Telugu at 9 p.m. You pr pretty much can watch only one show. But with Yup TV and with internet technology, all the content gets stored on the cloud. You can watch on the TV, on a smart internet TV, or you can watch on your mobile at your convenience. So it's reaching then 400 million household devices. I mean, what does that mean is, you know, I know India is a very mobile-centric we have you know, more than 700 million phones, mobile phones, 200 million internet uh, TV. But still, you know, TV, the living room experience, where you want to watch in a living room, we still reach 450 million households. So Yup TV is probably after Netflix and YouTube is the only two apps where we are integrated in almost every single device reaching the TV households. So if you look at Samsung, LG, Sony, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, and Roku TV, Roku is one of the number one, um, one of the number one media players in the US. I was one of the first guys who gave the vision to them. They had only had Netflix, MLB, and I was one of the first guys went and said, hey, you know, you should put the international content and you know, people should be able to watch. And uh, this was back in 2010, but in 2016, we are pretty much integrated in every device. In terms of Bazaar, see, last year, uh, December, we launched Bazaar. Actually, this is a very interesting concept. See, in YouTube, what happens is when you try to search for a content, in most of the content, you get user-generated content also comes up, and it is not really curated. So broadcast content goes to the TV channels, but there are a lot of creative producers where are short films, web series. They don't have any other place other than the YouTube. And the YouTube is, is a phenomenal uh, platform for uh, you know, content creators. But what we have done is we picked up the top, you know, uh, MCNs or content networks, creative content providers, and we created the bazaar. And we have pretty much 50, uh, 80 plus networks joined, and we're going to go aggressively on this platform to enable any content create, uh, creative producer to have a more curated content on the bazaar platform. 
Yupflix, actually we launched it for the US. It's a subscription on-demand service for movies. See, in the US, a uh, lot of people who don't have time to watch linear TV, live TV, uh, we provided this service where they can subscribe and watch movie on-demand service. And we have done almost uh, 5,000 plus Bollywood and regional movies uh, in the Yupflix. And it's doing extremely well, actually, for us. And it's uh, primarily focused outside India for now. So next, the pay-per-view. So this is another interesting concept. You see, I did my engineering from Delhi. And uh, when I we wanted to watch movies, even in Delhi uh, itself, we used to go to AP Bhavan. And there was no hardly people used to get to watch uh, movies. So we have come up with a concept where in the US, um, the, the movies release only in certain theatrical, in certain cities like New York, Atlanta, Dallas. And most of the cities where you know there are a lot of doctor households, live in the remote areas. So we have come up with pay-per-view where after the theatrical release of four weeks, people can pay uh, you know, and watch the movies. This is really, we, I've, I've worked with the content producers to educate that you know, if you don't deliver this, you're not uh, enabling the consumer to watch the movies, and the piracy is happening. So legitimately, at an affordable price point, let's go and um, deliver this, and this has been a significant success for all the uh, pro uh, producers who have been partnered with us. And going forward, we would be continuously focusing on uh, pay-per-view as well. Now I would like to thank Mr. Mahesh Babu as a, our brand ambassador. And you know, I myself a big fan of uh, Mr. Mahesh Babu, and uh, uh, personally, he carries across not just the Telugu audience, he carries across the uh, Indian audience is Christ, the global audience, so we have decided him, um, and it's a great thing. We are from Hyderabad, he's from Hyderabad, our technology, our employees is from Hyderabad, and we want to build a global brand uh, with this collaboration. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I strongly believe that the future of entertainment is online video streaming, and Yep TV is clearly the leader in this paradigm shift. So I'm extremely happy and honored uh, to be associated with Yep TV. I wish you all the best, sir, in achieving all your goals. I remember in a long time, uh, it was, I think, six years ago, uh, I was shooting for Dukudu. We were in Switzerland then, in a small hotel, and uh, uh, the television channels, it, it didn't even have a TV, that hotel. It was a small hotel. It just had Wi-Fi, and uh, one of our producers was watching a Telugu news channel on his iPad. And we were all amazed. I mean, I, I was like, how are you doing this? And he said, there's, this, there's a new app called Yup TV, and you can download this and watch it. I thought it was an amazing app at that time, and uh, never did I know that I'll be associated with them. So I'm extremely happy and uh, proud to be associated with them. Like, I got introduced to it six years ago, right. and uh, uh, like I said, it was an amazing app. And after that, uh, every time in my house and all that, and for me, you know, my only source of uh, my hobby is like, I watch a lot of uh, TV. If I'm not shooting, I watch TV. Okay. So, uh, something like Yap TV is my favorite. Right. And to be associated with them today is like, I'm really happy. I can't explain it. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you much. Any other question? Maybe we can take a couple of more here. <laughs> a shooting like that, I'll be watching TV. And <laughs> you name it, the films, uh, television content, all kinds of stuff, and uh, I love watching. Pay-per-view, Gurinj, can you explain, yes, sir? Pay-per-view, movies after theatrical release are check, huh? See, a lot of countries, U.S., a lot of countries, Telugu population, other population, all over, they are there. So what happens is, when theatrical release, Konni cities lo out and die. So while access to movies, after a couple of four weeks or so, we are releasing this movie so people can buy an auto. You know, but US low four dollars ninety-nine cents Kateshi movie choose coach within three, four weeks. So that's what we're doing. No, you put outside India launches. India low in Koncham we are looking at little later stages. Yeah, but now outside India Akada movies release Gauga, but the applicability is much more there right now. Piracy came on chances. We are trying to work with the content producers to legitimately. Yeah. And to live stream that. Yeah.
Yeah, so we have, it's a piracy is a continuous, we are working with uh, content providers to work a continuously, go after different initiatives we are taking to take out the piracy. Yeah, but it will actually eliminate the pri piracy in, in my view. Because after three, four weeks, when it is on pay-per-view, the theatrical run these days, any big film, it's only a three to four week run. So after that, it's on pay-per-view, which is original content again. So because of this, I don't think the piracy will be there. Even if it is there, nobody is going to watch it. So it, it gets eliminated automatically. It's not about net surfing. And it's generally, if I have the free time, I like to watch a movie or any TV show. So it's, for me, that's more than enough, that entertainment. Uh, Mahesh Garu, uh, what is your criteria in selecting brands? You choose, you do endorse for a number of brands. Uh, so uh, how do you select them? Are uh, brands need, selecting I, you or you are selecting brands? I don't know. I've been lucky in, in that way. I think the brands are selecting me and I'm very happy and I'm very excited, okay. especially this association with FTV because it's one of my favorite uh, watch entertainment is. And to be associated with uh, TV is really, I'm really happy. Uh, I want to know how, how do you uh, check the credibility of the brands and... There's nothing and now... Uh, when suppose if someone says YAPTV wants to be associated with you, there's nothing to check the credibility because YAPTV is really good. So you know what I'm saying? No, so I'm not talking about only YAPTV. I'm yeah, talking it's, about it's brand. all the brands and which brands I endorse. endorse. They're very big brands which I endorse. So I've been lucky in a way. There are some which I don't get associated also. So it all depends. If I'm really happy and excited with the brand, I'll do it.